Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Well, in this video, I'm going to share one very important concept of Flutter state management. The concept that I'm going to cover is going to be equally applied to GetX, Block, and Riverpod. It doesn't matter whatever you use, even if you also use native state management like a set state. So regardless whichever method it is, it's going to be applied and useful. So make sure that you watch the video, you like it and share. Anyway, so what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to restart my app so that I can show you actually what's going to happen and what approach we are going to solve or use to solve a problem, okay? So this is where my home page is lo loading while well, the network is slow. Now, what I'm going to do, you'll see that we come over here and we have a cart over here and we see the items in the cart and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some items in our cart and I'm going to su submit it and then I'm going to load it over here and we already have a crash over here so nothing is visible and here it says that set state or needs mark needs build call during build okay so this is one of the hint so what are gonna happen what's gonna happen if I go ahead and try this button again so you'll see that it insists or whatever I do the error should be there and sometimes this error actually this one is shown on screen as well so it doesn't really matter once again this problem is not just specific to GetX or Block or Riverpod it happens with any kind of state management system so what happens over here when you see that it says that set state or mark needs build call during build that means that actually the screen was already being built the screen was being rendered so which means that state of update was happening on the screen and at the same time during that time a new update triggered okay so what's gonna happen you already have an update that's going on on the screen right so something might be rendering on the screen and at that time Flutter engine has it triggered another one. Of course, Flutter doesn't do it automatically. It's the programmers, if we write faulty code or the code that's not clear to us, that kind of things that causes. So that means that whenever you see that this is happening, something like that, where it says the set state and mark needs build happens, that means actually two update screen was going to happen one after another, but not only actually not one after another simultaneously so one was happening on the screen and then a new one happened again so this is going to cause the problem okay so we need to avoid this thing remember whenever you see this kind of issues or message that means that one was going on and that didn't finish and new one got triggered so that means that your original screen gets dirty so this is this should not happen now to prevent this, you need to identify the second build, okay? The second update on the screen. Well, in general, uh, if you have any kind of screen, stateful screen, you'll have your uh, build method, right? So here we have my build method, as you can see there. So build method, so here we have our build method. And of course it was building, rendering, and by the time another build happened. So in my case, actually, this is the code that was happening so over here actually I was trying to update a list and that list is reactive so over here as you see that I have like an array over here this one or a list so I'm assigning this list to a reactive list reactive list means that it's going to update the UI uh, t or it's going to trigger the UI v immediately now here since I'm using getx over here this is an rx list and this is going to update uh, rebuild or trigger a rebuild actually but the same happens if you use block in your case it is the block mechanism but the idea is because there was already build going on on the screen and a new one came in simultaneously so that's why it happened so this is the culprit uh, this is the line that was causing this problem now to get rid of this kind of problem in general what do you need to do something called widgets binding an instance and which also has a method called add post frame callback okay so definitely from the name as you see that so this is a 
callback function that actually we should use over here. That means that we should call this one and put the culprit or the one that causes rendering we should put that line or that part of the code inside this so if you put it like this what's gonna happen is that okay so flutter build method was running and then whenever it hits this one and then whatever inside is that whatever inside your add post frame callback method is going to be executed once the earlier build was done so it will hold this execution okay whatever you put inside this and that's the name tells you because this is the name okay the name tells you that okay add a post frame callback which means add something uh, as a frame and it should be a callback which means it should execute later so this line will get executed later okay and then whatever this line does it would be doing that in our case it was updating our UI so what will happen once again our f our screen our screen will regularly build and once that build is done it will execute this line okay and with that you can prevent this kind of crash okay so now well let's go ahead and restart our app and we'll see whether this time we have this error or not so let's see our screen over here card as you can see now I'll go and uh, try to add a new item say for example this one to our cart okay so we are ready over here and I'm gonna add some items and add it now I'm going to go to the card screen and as you see that we don't have any error and everything is working perfectly Anyway, so if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.